hello beautiful people welcome back to this prophetic platform today i just want to encourage you to not be discouraged yes the enemy will try so hard to discourage you from doing what the lord has called you to do just as he did try to discourage jesus from moving on or continuing with the fast you know when the enemy saw that this fast was something that the lord wanted to do for 40 days and 40 nights he came right on time he came to make sure that the Lord was discouraged and said, you know, you are the son of God. You can just turn this stone into bread. You know, he wanted him to just cut it off at that time. There's something you are doing that is bothering the wicked. There's something you are doing. It may not be a 40-day fast like our Lord Jesus Christ did, but there's something you are doing for the kingdom of God that is obviously bothering the enemy. If it wasn't bothering them, they would relax. You know, the enemy wouldn't send these people to come and try to discourage you, to try and say things about you, to make you feel like, okay, Maybe this is not for you. Maybe this is not something that you should do. Maybe you are not strong enough for this. But the Lord has given you strength to carry on. I don't know what it is or what path that the Lord has asked you to take as an individual. I do know mine. I know how the enemy is trying to discourage me. I know how the enemy is trying to make me feel weak and tired. But they have failed. And it's even so funny right now because there is really nothing. There is really nothing that the enemy can do to stop the one that the Lord has put his hand upon. Keep on keeping on. Tell that devil to get behind you just as our Lord Jesus Christ did. We should learn from him. We should we should emulate him. We should walk with him. We should read the word and see how he defeated the enemy with prayer and fasting. No matter what the enemy does, tell that devil to get behind you. If you know people in your life that the wicked is using to try to bring you down, to try to talk down on what you are doing for the Lord, to try to talk down on that good thing that you are sure the Lord has asked you to do, tell them to get behind you because the enemy is just using them. Tell that Judas that there is no space for them in your life. I'll see you guys next time. The Lord will continue to strengthen us to do his work. And if he has chosen you, it's not because you can do it by your own power. So obviously, he'll give you the strength to finish what you have started and what he has started in you. As he began that race with you, trust that he will go with you to the end of the line, to that finish line. I'll see you guys next time.